Scientists are releasing a new warning about the threat of a massive supervolcano eruption, like the one under Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming. It can literally tear the guts out of the United States of America. 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 The Yellowstone volcano, a source of awe and fascination, has attracted scientists as well as those who love nature over many generations. While it is widely acknowledged, recent developments have sparked a wave of concern and urgency. It turns out that a 100-foot-wide crack has just opened up in Yellowstone prompting renowned physicist Michio Kaku to issue a warning. This incident has led geologists and volcanologists to reassess the risks and potential consequences of such an occurrence. So, what does this crack imply regarding the stability of Yellowstone Volcano? Join us to take a closer look at this shocking occurrence and analyze Michio Kaku's warning about one of the most powerful natural wonder the Yellowstone Caldera. Yellowstone National Park is positioned in the western area of the United States of America, extending over 3,468 square miles and situated in the states of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. Founded in 1872, it is the world's first national park with some of the most outstanding geological wonders, species of animals and plants, and breathtaking scenery in the world. But that's not all. The park has existed for thousands of years, and archaeological findings show that people have inhabited the place for the last 11,000 years at least. The tribes that originally inhabited the area, namely the Shoshone, Bannock, and Crow tribes, have always valued the land and its resources. Yellowstone gets its name from the Minatari Indian word Mitsi Adazi, which translates to the place where white earth is found. The park is most famous for its geothermal activity, which consists hot springs, fumaroles, and mud pots. Yet another natural unique feature of Yellowstone is its geysers, which are attributed to the park's volcanic past. The most famous of these is Old Faithful, a geyser that erupts with remarkable regularity, shooting water up to 185 feet into the air. But Old Faithful is just the tip of the iceberg. Yellowstone is home to over 500 geysers, more than half of the world's total. Each geyser has its unique characteristics, with varying eruption styles, temperatures, and mineral compositions. While the beauty of Yellowstone is undeniable, it is essential to understand the geological forces that shape this extraordinary landscape. At the core of the park lies a massive supervolcano, a term that refers to a volcano capable of producing an eruption of magnitude 8 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, VEI. The Yellowstone Caldera, formed by a series of colossal eruptions over the past 2.1 million years, is one of the largest active volcanic systems in the world. The most recent major eruption occurred approximately 640,000 years ago, creating the vast caldera that we see today. This eruption released an estimated 1,000 cubic kilometers of volcanic material, covering much of the surrounding area in ash and reshaping the landscape. While it may seem like a distant event, the potential for future eruptions remains a topic of intense scientific study and public interest. One of the most notable indicators is ground deformation, which refers to the rising and falling of the Earth's surface due to the movement of magma beneath it. Monitoring stations throughout the park have detected areas where the ground has risen several inches, suggesting that magma is accumulating and exerting pressure on the rock. The YVO employs a variety of advanced technologies to track changes in the caldera. Seismographs record earthquakes, which are common in the area due to the tectonic activity associated with the volcano. GPS stations measure ground deformation, allowing scientists to detect even the slightest shifts in the landscape. Additionally, Gas emissions are monitored to assess changes 
in volcanic activity and potential hazards. To better understand the potential impact of a Yellowstone eruption, it can be helpful to look at historical volcanic events. One of the most notable examples is the eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980. While significantly smaller than a super eruption, the Mount St. Helens eruption caused widespread devastation, flattening forests, destroying homes, and releasing ash that affected air travel and health across the United States. The eruption of Mount St. Helens released approximately one cubic kilometer of volcanic material, compared to the thousands of cubic kilometers that a Yellowstone super eruption could produce. Understanding these historical events helps us appreciate the warnings from experts like Michio Kaku, who highlights the possible dangers of catastrophic eruptions. Michio Kaku's warning. Before we dive into the specifics of Kaku's warnings, it's essential to understand his background and expertise. Michio Kaku is a theoretical physicist, science communicator, and writer of popular science. He is a professor of theoretical physics at the City College of New York and is known for his work in string theory and quantum field theory. Kaku has authored several best-selling books, including Physics of the Impossible and The Future of the Mind, which have helped bring complex scientific concepts to a wider audience. In addition to his academic work, Kaku has been a frequent guest on television shows and podcasts where he discusses a wide range of scientific topics, including the potential risks associated with natural disasters like volcanic eruptions. In recent interviews and statements, Michio Kaku has expressed concern about the recent developments at Yellowstone National Park, particularly the opening of a significant crack in the ground. According to Kaku, this crack is a sign of increased volcanic activity beneath the surface and could be an indication that the Yellowstone caldera is becoming more unstable. Kaku has emphasized the potential consequences of a super eruption at Yellowstone, noting that such an event could have devastating global consequences. He has pointed to the park's eruptive history, which includes three major super eruptions over the past 2.1 million years, as evidence of the volcano's potential for catastrophic activity. The impact of a super eruption. Following Kaku's warnings, if a super eruption occurs at Yellowstone, the immediate consequences would be catastrophic. The eruption would likely begin with a series of powerful explosions, ejecting vast amounts of ash, gas, and volcanic rock into the atmosphere. This initial phase could last for days or even weeks, resulting in pyroclastic flows, fast-moving currents of hot gas and volcanic matter that would devastate everything in their path. Beyond the immediate destruction, the long-term environmental consequences of a Yellowstone super eruption would be extreme. The ash released into the atmosphere would have significant effects on climate, potentially leading to a phenomenon known as volcanic winter. NASA's plan to cool the volcano. Given the magnitude of the threat, scientists and government agencies have been exploring various strategies to mitigate the risks associated with Yellowstone's supervolcano. One such proposal, put forth by NASA, aims to cool the volcano by tapping into its geothermal energy. NASA's plan involves drilling into the Yellowstone caldera and pumping in water to cool the underlying magma chamber. How do we protect this natural wonder? Feel free to drop your opinions in the comments section below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more. Also, click the following video shown on your screen. You will enjoy it.